big game that everybody will be uh, focusing on is the 4.30 on a Sunday. Uh, Majin, Alan Pardew will be taking your calls um, in the final word phoning straight after Chelsea and the Arsenal. We've had some Chelsea fans on here tonight saying that if they beat the Arsenal, they're in a title race. Uh, Arsenal in a tiny little bit of, a, I won't say a slice, just a bump, a little tiny bump. Odegaard's been out. He's fit now. Don't know if he's going to start the weekend, but I think he'll play a bigger part than he did in the middle of the week. Things will look on the up because he is a massive part of that attack. No doubt about it. Um, Chelsea Arsenal. Chelsea in great form as well. This is actually the perfect timing of this match. If you'd have played this match maybe six months ago, you'd have gone Arsenal will absolutely yeah. wallop this lot. Yeah. But now I'm like, woo! Tasty. This is a tasty game of football. Four thirty. There's a lot riding on it for Arsenal. Yeah. Chelsea are in good nick. Chelsea are at home. Let's rock and roll, baby. Yeah, it's a nice one to for a Sunday. Is it a Sunday? Oh, it's a, it's a roast beef. Yeah. It's a Yorkshire pudding. It is. It's thick, sticky gravy. It's a bit of red wine on the side. <sighs> I think it's a bit a, of red wine. A relaxed one. A little bit of Malbec. Oh, yes. Yes. Bit a steak. Of, bit of Argentinian with some, I'm going to go so, just beef. Just some beef. Ro oh, roast, roast beef. beef. Roast beef, mate. Well, how do you like your roast beef? Um, pink. Oh, do you like it pink? Do you like it a little bit more well done? I'm a well done man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like well done. You like it cooked? Bit of mustard on the side. A little bit of mustard. No, actually, horseradish. Let's go horseradish. Yeah. Bit of cranberry um, sauce. That's yeah. for the, that's for or, that's what, or are you no, doing red sauce. No, that's for the turkey. That's for the turkey. I like the horseradish though. You know what I mean? Makes it gets the old nostrils flared yeah, I, up. I, man. I, I put the red sauce. No, it's not just turkey. I do it with everything, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Red oh, sauce. Okay. Standard. Anyway, as we were talking, Chelsea versus Arsenal. How do you think it's going to go down? <sighs> it's a tricky one. I don't. I can't call it. Oh, but, I can't do that. I can't call it, but. Because it's at home for Chelsea, and I know they're going to be well up for it because this is going to be a statement piece for them. It's a statement piece for them because they got a, you'd say a weakened Arsenal side that mm -hmm. could be that could be got at. Yeah. Because I think where Chelsea win this game is probably their midfield. Yeah. Yeah. casado has been. He's been the player that we knew he was. Turned up, hasn't he? He's turned up now. Turned up. Had a season off. He's turned up then. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm just, I'm just thinking. Mm, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I'm going to be bold. Go on. You ready? Go on. The slump continues for Arsenal. Chelsea going to beat them. Cool, blow me. I didn't want to say that. I don't think they're going to thump them. I think it'd be tight. Two one, two one. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, th I think it'd be a tight game of football. It'd be a bit of back and forth. There'll be something horrible in there, like a little VAR or something like that. But I think Chelsea will come through. They're just in. They're just popping. Mm. Everything's working for them. Jackson's doing a bit up up top, man. Cool. He's looking like he can do he's a bit. Looking, he's, he's looking like the player I, I thought he would be. Yeah. Like, everyone was criticising him, yeah? Rightfully but, so, man, because he would... No, but I was I was thinking, there's something there, you know. I don't know if... Well, good coach... I'm not saying I had a magic ball or anything like no, that. No, but, but good coaching. He's yeah, doing all right. I just, I just thought he'd, he'd do all right, eventually. And, um, yeah, he's he's looking good. We've got, obviously, Cole Palmer can just do Cole Palmer things. There you go. And he's 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 solid. Um... But Casado is the one that's impressing me at the moment. Neto, he hasn't even got going yet. No. When he imagine when he turns up, you know. So there's a, there's a lot there's a lot of excitement around the bridge at the moment. But then you look at um, look at Arsenal. They need they might need to to get something out of this oh, game. I think they do. I think they the need slump, to end the they, slump. They need this, to end it. Yeah, they need to end it this because weekend. this could be ten points by because it could the be end of the weekend. Exactly, exactly, and then that's not going to look good. No, for anybody. Not with title aspirations, exactly. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm back in Chelsea, man. I think Chelsea will come through that two one. Um, the big game tomorrow. We're doing a little bit different tomorrow. We normally have a fight night on the Saturday evening. There's going to be boxing in the show. We will do it, and I will speak about the Conor Ben situation, and we will get stuck into all that scenario because I know that you want to talk about that. Uh, but because we've got a late kickoff tomorrow, live on Talksport at eight o'clock, we're going to have a phone in at ten o'clock straight after the game on this particular match, Liverpool versus Aston Villa, because it's an absolute monster of a game. Mm. Again, when we're talking about slumps, Aston Villa, who uh, started the season extremely well, recently, just a couple of bit, uh, mm -hmm. blips. We all saw what happened midweek with the crazy handball, which cost them their uh, unbeaten record in the Champions League. They need to get back at it, but it's a blooming difficult fixture because they go into Anfield, which has become a fortress this season. Okay, Forrest went up there and did the business, but Liverpool have been impeccable. Mm. Top of the league, flying, playing some really good stuff. Certain players that weren't necessarily kicking it last year are starting to kick it this season. The likes of the Curtis Joneses. I think the positional change of Grav and Birch has been absolutely awesome. Uh, and has really, really showed them up in midfield. They look mustard. Liverpool, Aston Villa, at Anfield. I'm, I'm sorry, Villa. 
I can't see you getting back on the wagon this weekend. I just can't see it. Liverpool, I think, are too tight, too stingy, and they're just ruthless when they get an opportunity. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a comfortable Liverpool one. I'm seeing two 0 something like that. Mm, yeah, yeah. Look, it's going to be a hard task for Villa, obviously. But you know, I'd love Villa to make a game of it. I'd love them to score early and make, you know, a, make a do of it. I just think Villa's got they've got a lot on their plate at the moment. To be honest, they're getting used to the Champions League life. Um, obviously, they the, the midweek game against Bruges. Well, it was a hard one to take. Obviously, losing not losing in that fashion, um, and look, you got to understand that Liverpool are a formidable force at the moment. You got to look at them. They got goals coming from all angles. So Gakpo's on fire. Mm. Saw his goal the other day. It was brilliant, mm. brilliant goal. Um, the header far post. Yeah. I like those type of goals. Um, and he was like, yeah, and he's just looking good anyway in general play. They just got too much goal pa- got um, goal pa- poachers and um, too much power going forward Villa now the, the one player I think Villa needed that that team at the moment would have to be John McGinn oh. he because he's he's like an engine he's an engine room in that midfield he had no I'm not saying he's he's he's, he's like not got any flair but he just does it does what it says on the tin runs about Disrupt. A bit of a water carrier for them. He disrupts it. He disrupts the play. So he he's I think he comes in and he because I know he's been injured, mm. and hopefully he can just come in and um, do a job and defensively for them because they're going to need it because it's going to be back against the wall. Uh, West Ham Everton. I'm not going to make you make. It. Are you going to go? Are you back in West Ham for a win? I have to, and I yeah, definitely because there needs to be some kind of result. <laughs> they're at home as well. Um, and it's one of those you know, they have those, to win they have to win at home um, especially against opposition like this um, that's not at the races as well um, so I think we've got to go for a West Ham win I'm going to go a comfortable win 2-0 uh, that's on TalkSport 2 at 3 o'clock tomorrow make sure you come and join us for that massive game for Wolves hosting Southampton updates on game day live through, uh, throughout the afternoon from 3 o'clock mm. they're talking about that if Wolves don't get a result at home tomorrow as in a win, three points, the manager's in trouble. I think that's unfair. I think that's unfair. I think um, Gary Neal do Gary Neal's done a splendid job last season. He did last, last should, season, but listen, it's not, it's not been great. This but year they've so been far, stripped of all their best players. Yeah, and I feel for him, man, because like, they've flogged a lot and they haven't brought. Yeah, they haven't and spent they've spent the time. Have they? He's had he's had to rely on um, the, some youth players, some mm. of some of the players that were there that weren't as good as they should be. And yeah, he's got. Right. He's, he's had to try and try and manoeuvre. Um, since he's there, the club's made two hundred plus million. You know what I mean? And he's fielding a weakened side than when he's got there. So he just had to man, man manage, manage the team. It's a, it's a lot that he's doing right now as a new young manager. Yeah. So I just feel like it's a bit harsh. I don't think sacking Gary O'Neill is going to get any other. Another manager's not going to come and walk in and change the fortunes of that team. No. Straight away, so they'll end up going lower, even lower. So you might as well just keep him there. He knows what he's doing, and help him um, become a better side. And he, he's got the, he's a great coach, and he'll get them playing. I just want one word answers, right? Who's going to win, Brighton, Man City? Man City. I don't Who, know why it took so long. <laughs> who's going to win, Nottingham Forest, Newcastle? Oh, that's a hard one, you know. The Forest at home, yeah. Grand Forest Same I think it's a City Forest double that Yeah Two good games though Because big Big questions at Man City At the moment Can't have four on the spin Otherwise they'll call it a crisis <laughs> <laughs> What's that all about You know yeah, what I mean exactly. On AM On DAB Via the TalkSport app And on your smart speaker TalkSport